Good morning, hallelujah, everybody. It's 1156, it's almost noonday. This video is covered in the blood, pioneering for God, everyone. Father God, we just thank you, Jesus. Let us be pioneers for you, O oh God. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Just let your light and your glory shine down on us by day and by night, O oh God. Father God, let your angels encamp about us, O oh God. Order our footsteps in the Lord. Order our steps, O oh God. We praise you. We magnify you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. How is everyone today? Let the sun shine upon you. Let the glory of God shine upon you, everybody. Glory, glory. I don't know on the rights. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, I've been changed, Lord. I've been changed, Lord. Since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down, I've been changed, Lord, I've been changed, Lord, since I lay my burdens down. Did he fix it? Won't he do it for you? When you lay your burdens down, you feel the change, everybody. God said that we are pioneers. A pioneer, and what is it biblically? It leads the way, someone who leads the way so others may follow. So the Lord was our pioneer. One who leads into battle, he sets a pattern, Initiates and guides. The Greek is Archagos, founder and leader, and is, is an example to others. In Hebrews 12, 2, he talks about him being the author. He said, The author finish of our faith. He sat at the right hand of the throne of God. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I lay my burdens down. We land down our burdens in the throne room today, everybody. John 8, 31. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Liberty, freedom, and justice for all, everybody. There you go. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, everybody. We're talking about freedom, liberty, pioneering with freedom, liberty, and justice for all. James 2, 13. For whoever shall say, keep the whole law and not stumble in one point, he is guilty of all. For the one who says, do not commit adultery, but you do murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so do as those who will be judged by the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. God is a merciful God. He says one sin does not outweigh the other. Sin is sin that leads to death, everybody, okay? So if you murder, then you say, um, you turn around and you do one thing, commit adultery, and you turn around, you talk about you're not sinning because you didn't murder someone. God is saying judgment comes from sin. All sin is sin. One is not bigger or smaller. All is sin. Okay. So, um, 
Jesus say that we he leads the way. Okay, so he leads us into the way that we should be walking, everyone. Rome, Romans 8.21, because the creation itself also will be delivered from bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. All right, everybody. So we know that Jesus says that this world is corrupted. The creation was corrupted, okay? He created the world. Okay, the world was first without form and void. Then he created the world, all right? So we know that creation was corrupted by man. From Adam eating the apple, from, from Eve eating the apple, um, then Adam ate it and everything was corrupted, okay? So we know that uh, God delivers us with his liberty, the children of God, when you become one of his, you're delivered through, through liberty, through his liberty. All right, everyone? You, you, you're delivered from the bondage of the uh, things of this world. Okay, everyone? Galatians 2, 4. And this occurred because a false brethren secretly brought into who came in by stealth to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ, Christ Jesus, that thing, uh, that they might us into bondage. Okay, everybody? Now, sin keeps us bound in chains and shackles. But God's, when we put on the Spirit of God, when we come to God, when we seek Him and find Him, and we walk with Him, and not just lip service, not um, hypocritical things, but walking fully and strongly in God. We put on His full, the full armor of God, and we are no longer bondage to, to sin, all right, to the flesh of the world. 1 Corinthians 10, 9, Nor let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed by serpents. So God said to let us not tempt God, all right, because then you go unto his judgment. So we walk with him, all right? Galatians 5, 1, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free and do not be entangled against with a yoke of bondage. See, we, liberty and justice, freedom, we are free when we are partake of walking with God. That If we're not walking with God, then we are in bondage. That's what God is saying. So Galatians 5 says to run us to be ye steadfast, immovable, always aboundingly. Because, because I'm free. Um, the Lord say, who the Son sets free is free indeed. All right. 2 Corinthians 3, 17. Now the Lord is spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are transform so we are transformed through the spirit of god okay so god is spirit that's why he says don't look at the things of the earth which are carnal and fleshly these fleshly and carnal things uh do us no good okay so um we transfer into the same image from glory to glory just as by the spirit of the lord Glory God is God's presence. It indicates our worth and value to him. It results in us praising him, okay? This is in James 4.15. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord's uh, will, if the Lord's will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you boast in arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Therefore, to him... Who knows to do good and does not do it to him is sin, is willful sin. See, Lord was giving me willful sin um, the other day. And he's saying that when you know to do better and you're not doing it, then it becomes sin. Because you're just sinning against him on purpose. Okay? So God said, um, we are to turn away from it. Because it's sin, if you're not turning away from it, you know right from wrong you know what you're doing and you know what's against god and you're sinning anyhow that's willful sin james 1 25 but he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work this one will be blessed in that and what he does so god say when you walk in the liberty of him 
you continue in this purpose, you continue in faith, and you adore, you know, because the work he start in you, he will finish it. He says that you will be blessed when you do what he says. Okay, everybody, if you will all go with me to Romans 8. There is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ, Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. See, we are free when we walk in spiritually with the Lord, everyone. The shackles and chains, the bondage are no longer on us when we partake of him. What the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin. He condemned sin in the flesh. See, that's why the Father in heaven sent the Son of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to walk the earth in the flesh. He sent him to, to the earth so that he could become sin for us. All right, he who knew no sin became our sin. So he partake, he was partaking of that so that, that we will no longer transgress through the world, the sinful nature of the world. He, he was that, that sacrificial lamb for us, that ram in the thicket for us so we may live. So um, it is so awesome that if Father didn't send us a Savior for the new covenant, what would we do, everybody, okay? They say, well, if it wasn't for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Okay, he keep our enemies away, shuts down the naysayers, guide us, you know, comfort us, lean to him, not to our own understanding. He condemns sin in the flesh that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled to us, in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on things of the flesh, to the spirit, things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. So Lord, the Lord said, when you're still in the world, you're not serving him. You're living for yourself, self-indulging, self-gratification. He says that's sin to him, okay? So he calls us to come out of these things, to be of one accord with him, to be mirrored in his Christ-likeness. Because the carnal mind is enmity, is strife against God, okay? So he says, no, indeed can be. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. So we cannot please God if we're in the world and not serving him. It takes us to come out of, out of the world. See, God calls us out to, to, to be in oneness with him, to be conducive with him. So if the things that we're doing in the world... Um, it's not pleasing to him when we walk in darkness outside of him. Um, it's not fruitful. All right. So he cuts off the unfruitful branches from the tree. All right. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. So when you partake on him, you're no longer walking in, in unrighteousness. He says, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. All right. So, um, that means if you're walking outside of him, if you're walking outside of his covenant, if you're not doing what he say do and um, living for him and his, his statutes, his covenants, he said you, you, it's like death to your soul, all right? Having um, partial faith, faith is like having no faith at all. He want us to embody him spiritually. All right. He wants us to come up out of the world. Um, he says a fool says there's no God. See, we, we, he's talking about being ignorant of not knowing him. He says my people will perish for lack of knowledge. So God wants us to get knowledge of him. He's coming back. The father sent his son back to receive us back. Okay, to bring us back for eternal life. Um, we must know that your soul goes two places, even heaven or even to um, Sheol, to hell, everybody, okay? It's one or two places that you can go, even heaven or hell. So he want us to be set up 
He wants us to be pioneers for him, to be fruitful, to know who he is, and to walk with him. He says that we are not in bondage when we partake of him, but if we're not partaking of Christ and the spiritual things, the heavenly things, um, we're in bondage. So God calls us out of bondage. He says, for you did not receive the spirit of bondage against you fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry, Abba, Father, Abba, Father. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. See, we suffer with God when we partake of him through his sufferings. That's why you see so much persecutions come from those who are walked, walking, um, talking about God. See, because God was persecuted. So when you partake of him, you're in his merit to likeness of him. All right. It's like looking in a mirror. All right, so if, if God was persecuted and hated, that's what we will be in this world, all right? Because it doesn't know him. The world doesn't know him. The, girl, the world is God's enemy. It doesn't know God, all right? It's fleshly. So we must partake of the spiritual, supernatural things, all right? That's where we come with the Spirit of God. Um, we, we, we crucify the, fr the flesh, and we put on God's Spirit. God's anointing power will guide us to all understanding. You say, well, I don't understand. God's Holy Spirit anointing will give you the power, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to understand his words, everybody, okay? For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to fertility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. Because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pains together until now. Not only that, but we also who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For while, why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. See, hope, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. All right, everybody? So we keep hoping, we keep believing, we keep practicing our faith, everybody. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for, we are. But the Spirit himself makes the intercession. See, the Holy Spirit will intercede when you pray to tell you what to pray for, how to pray. All right? Now, he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. See, not our will be done, but God's will be done. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, everybody. Right? And we know that all things work together for good to, to, uh, to those who... Who love God to those who are called according to his purpose. For he who foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Be, moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called, whom he called, these he also justified, and whom he justified, these he also glorified. See, God called us out. He called you out. He called you out to um, not be lovers of the world, but to repent and turn and be remorseful to turn to him, all right? To walk in his statutes and ways because he loves us and he does not wish for one to, to for none to perish, everyone. He gives us his everlasting love. He gives us his truth, all right? His remnants, he picks out his remnants to be on fire for him. When then shall we say to these things, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who do not spare his own son, but deliver him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? 
It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died. And furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of Christ, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, as it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Thank you, Jesus. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Nothing can separate us from God. When you want to hear us, you to call out ones. Nothing, no principalities, no height, no death. Nothing can separate you from the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that good news, everybody? Yes, yes, yes. So keep on walking and keep on talking. Keep on living for God. All right? Don't let nobody turn you around. Don't you let nobody turn you around, turn you around. Don't let nobody turn you around. Lord, we just thank you. Amen, amen, amen. I thank you all for the comments. I welcome your comments. I welcome you to share the videos. We need to spread the word, everybody. Okay, we need to spread the word. God is coming back. He sent the son that we may live. He's coming back. Okay, so he want us to be prayed up and ready for his return, everybody. So go with the love of the Lord. Thank you all. Keep being on fire for God. Tell somebody God loves them. Pray for those who don't know him to come into um, to to be healed by him and delivered in Jesus' name. Okay? So deliver us from evil, Father. Keep us from temptation. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I want you all to be blessed. Go with the love of the Lord and praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We magnify you. Be blessed, everybody. See you later.